All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys how to play Trundle top lane in Season 12. So, what we're running in this game is Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Cut the Grass, Bisquits, and Time Warp. We also have a Corrupting Potion because Trundle is a kind of champion that needs to have Corrupting. Because uh, this champion is really, like, man mana hungry. We're currently facing off Darius top. Pretty busted champ, in my opinion. It's not exactly a super good matchup, but if we play it smart and we play safe for the first one, two levels, um, once we make it like past level three, we can actually kill him pretty easily. You know, the difference between me and Darius here, like in general, like Darius is more all in power against Trondle, but if we have like the wave like stacking up and we have lethal tempo fully proccing, then we should be able to beat him with Ignite for sure. And we also have Corrupting Potion, so once we start trading him soon and trades go kind of more, we could still heal up from it. And also benefit from that as well. Right, of course he's going to do that. So I'm just saying like a couple things, guys. Lately, like, Trundle has been becoming like big meta. In case you like haven't been, you know, haven't seen it, like Trundle is more like a top laner rather than a jungle at the moment mainly because of the lethal tempo change just everyone's just picking shondle top with lethal tempo Ooh, this is gonna be a good one i wanted to charge into him goodbye if i can give you guys some great advice whenever you play against a darius you should never walk into his q like the closer you, um, the closer you stand to Darius, the harder it is to actually l l l allow him to like hit his Q on you. So you should like directly charge into him, like stand inside the circle, so he doesn't actually land it. It's like one of the best ways to like to kill him. All right, let's go back. Can't really reset this one, because if I walk up for the CS right there, then he's likely to freeze the wave down. And then try and like kill me, so we're gonna avoid that for now. <coughs> so, first item we're gonna go for, might surprise you guys. Most people that play Trondle go for Define. Um, what I actually suggest you do is go for Blade. I know it sounds a little, a little bit interesting, you know? A little bit weird, but um, once you go for Blade on Trundle, you can proc your Lethal Tempo really fast because of the attack speed and everything. But most importantly, um, Blade is really good for shredding down champions like Darius and tanks in general. You can even like play it against like any type of bruiser that's just... or pretty much anything. Make it work because Blade also provides movement speed by procking it, which is even better for Trundle, considering we can just chase better. You will see, like, once we have Blade, it's like the biggest power spike you can have on Trondle. Because of what it provides. It's freezing the wave down. <clears throat> Good thing, like, the wave is stacking up, so it will eventually push towards me, but I can't really move up here. Because if I do so, like, Darius will grab me, he will hit the passive, you know, he's going to slow me with the W and he will just kill me like that, so. He's got much greater, like, all-in against us, unfortunately. Darius is, like, a really good counter pick into Trundle because if he grabs us and uses W, like, there's no way for us to escape anymore. So we're chilling. The only thing he has is a Dorn's Blade. <clears throat> Alright. Now it's going to get fun, because once we reach level 6, there's going to be a lot of outplay potential. So I'm going to try and grab him here. Yup. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Trundle's biggest tactic always works. You know what the tactic is? 
if your opponent like pushes into you, right, and he's standing right here on this spot here, you can actually pillar them into the tower. <laughs> And they cannot actually move out anymore. So you will get you will kick them into the tower range so that the tower actually hits them. And also you slow them with your Q and you just follow them with your W afterwards. So he literally just killed a level six Darius while being level five right there. <laughs> it's just beautiful, man. Shrondo has so many with so many ways to like win lane like that. Alright, he's going to come back pretty strong now. I think he's probably pretty tilted because of what happened. We don't really have Ignite anymore, so it's going to be kind of tricky now. We're going to avoid Darius because, in theory, he's level 6 here, but he actually is stronger than we are. So we have to avoid him a little bit. Okay. We might actually end up killing him. The reason why we win so unbelievably hard right here was because I let Darius charge his Q and then I would avoid it. And in case he would like walk too close to me, I would then all in with my E and then use my ultimate and chase him down, right? So rather than just charging into Darius hoping you're going to win, um, instead it's far better if you just wait for him to use his Q and then you all in directly afterwards. We also had level 7, he was level 6, but still, remember, Darius is super OP level 6, so you kind of have to avoid him. Just wait for him to use his Q, and then you're all in after. <clears throat> Let's go for tier 1. Tier 1 boots is pretty, pretty good here, because we're going to have to chase down Darius. Okay, the wave is down here. So once again, we have the wave into a favorable spot. This is where we want the wave to be. Um, the only thing now, we don't have Ignite yet. It's like 20 seconds. And uh, we also don't have my ultimate. So we're going to have to try and kick him into here again. Ooh, we actually didn't hit him, fortunately. Remember the trick, guys. If your opponent's going to move into you to try and charge like a Q into you or whatever, um, you should always use your E to kick them into the tower. Make sure that tower actually hits them. I'm going to stack the wave up. So Darius, I think he's probably going to reset and probably come back with the next item, I'm assuming. Um, but either way, we're stacking the wave up anyway. So if he does come back, I'm probably just going to charge. I'm, just, I'm probably just going to hit my E and just directly all in with my Q for the slow. Let's get this all the way shoved in. An enemy has been slain. Fortunately, I kind of pushed it too slow. It's in a pretty awkward position at the moment. Not a huge fan of this. Oh, not bad. Ahem. Oh, we end up dying anyway. Yeah, that was kind of my bad. I made a tiny mistake here. Not the fight itself. That was actually just fine. But the mistake I made right here was I pushed it just a little bit too slow where the wave would actually get stuck up here. I could in theory just leave the wave and just go back. But he would probably be able to like freeze the last few CS on the back here. Which would actually kind of ruin my lane. I was still going to be fine regardless. But like Lee Sin came on the came on the last second. So... It could have been prevented. Can't really blame Lee Sin for like ganking my lane to be honest. Okay. Hope he's gonna stay a bit. Okay. Well, 
Well, whatever. We get my blade now. As soon as we get this next wave after this one, we can get that and then we just win after. He's probably gonna come back. I think he's gonna go for Trinity Force, I'm assuming. I think he does. He's going for Hop on Axe. Okay, let's make our way back. So now, matchup, it's done. It's finished. I will beat him right now. There's no way I cannot win lane anymore. Because, um, I mean, there's no way I cannot lose lane anymore. I'm actually not even kidding. Um, if I use my E now, and I all in with my ultimate, and I slow him with my Q, and I don't get hit by Darius Q, he will never win. I will literally run him over with Blade right now. It's going to give me so much movement speed that... I think even if he goes, I think I could probably kill him anyway. Probably. Spring. Let's see here. All we need is, you know, having the wave in a proper position. And that's all. Okay, let's wait for him to move up here. Oh, actually got hit by a Q. That's not what we want to have. And he's dead. <laughs> oh man, this is actually amazing. Chondal feels so flawless when you play the champ. And you get like a lot of attack speed. It just feels really, really, really good. All right, let's get some plates. We can rush tower super fast. Get several of these. Going to make sure to get the final one too. Maybe get the entire tower. That would be even better. Nice. Now we hard push. And yeah, we're going to reset. Next item right now is probably going to be a Trinity Force. That's going to be a great combination for Blade. And we're also going to go for Steel Caps. I'll take this one for now. Move back top side. We got a Drake. The game is looking really, really bad at the moment, but this game is perfectly winnable. I'm very sure about it, because Lee Sin is not going to remain useful forever. Not for long. Blue is going to spawn soon. Okay, let's see if we can kill Darius. I hope he's not going to run into my tower. I hope not. And you're dead. Or not. <laughs> right. Darius life. Ooh, Lee Sin is dominating. What? He's got 6 and 0. He's for like 1,000 gold. Unbelievable. I think I'm probably going to go for Titanic as a third item, probably. What are you doing? <laughs> Wait, what is she doing? She's just charging into me? Uh, you will never win. Should not have bothered doing it. Because I think I was going to be fine anyways. Lee Sim would not be able to jump on me. Let's go back. Oof, that Lee Sin is 7-0 and at the moment. I hope he's not going to start building full damage. <laughs> it's going to be scary. 
If Lee Sin goes like full lethality and stuff, he could basically burst me if he wants. Would be good if Nami like walks around so we can block this Darius from walking away. Sidesteps it. Gotcha. Lee Sin is coming topside, so we gotta keep that in mind. Get the uh, let's get the next wave and get a jungle camp. Ooh, that Lee Sin is so fed. Even a surrender coming though. We're not going to surrender. What? Just because someone's like dominating, you're gonna surrender. I'm not going to go for the tower. Let's see if we can get some some stuff here. Oh, they look angry. Woo. <laughs> Everyone is so fed in this game. We literally just walk out of lane. Camp's getting stolen. The shutdown from 1,000 gold has transferred to Volibear, which is perfectly fine. I kind of wish I had the kill for myself, because that would have definitely helped me. Uh, but Volibear is becoming pretty strong now. Slowly. Wait, there's a 4 level difference in jungle. Oh, that feels pretty bad then. 1,000 uh, golds. Still wish I had it myself. We're probably going to get ganked. Got to be careful here. All right, so let's get my Trinity Force. Uh, next item will definitely be a Titanic for a wave clear because I'm. Um, I think that within like five minutes or so, they will probably be. Um, they will probably be very close to the inhibs, if not maybe already taken. No wards. I'll take their red buff. An ally has been slain. Take this camp here. Apparently Lee Sin's popping off right there. Maybe we can clean them up. Uh, never mind. It's too much. Oh, you're dead, buddy. I was gonna flash because I was kind of afraid he was gonna die on her tower and then the gold would transfer to the support. That would be pretty bad if that would happen, so I'm just flashing just in case. Uh, wait. Woo! Another thousand gold. Not bad, not bad. We are literally farming so much gold, just getting kills over and over. That's pretty crazy. We could still make a comeback this game. I kind of think we can, because they are all literally... All of them are just giving their gold away each time. Uh, Ash is a little bit of a problem. Another one. Ash was, on the other hand, like Ash wasn't really that strong. She was one in six, or I mean one in five. So it didn't gain that much. So now we can go back and we can get my Titanic. Awesome.
I'm not going to go for the tower, obviously, because it's way too risky. So, next item is um, what I'm personally thinking about might be a Steric Gauge, but also a Thormill. It's kind of situational from here. Steric Gauge is pretty good in this game as well. But also a Spirit Visage and a Thormill. Let's get blue. Oh, that one's already taken, of course. Just gonna ping my team back because I don't want them to die right now. Seems like Bollybeer is fighting a Nash. Being destroyed by a Nash. He's got one he's got solo killed by a Nash. Feels bad, man. Ah, oh, I can feel the pain from like Bollybeer. <laughs> I'm gonna get ganked. Wait. They're going for Baron, I guess? Or they're chasing me down. I don't know. Yeah, they're going for Baron. Yeah. Even Darius is like worth gold at the moment. You see that? <laughs> I'll sell this one. This okay, okay. If we're if we're even getting this far in the game where Darius is actually worth gold being 05 and 2, then something is wrong here. <clears throat> All camps are taken. Oh, we're getting ganked. Nice gank. Ah, <laughs> uh, feels bad for these guys. We're playing Chondle here. Not happening. <laughs> we will press my Q, my R, my uh, my E. Nothing's gonna, nothing's gonna happen here. <laughs> You've got so much gold from Darius now, too, actually. Ooh, that's a blue. Oh, yeah, that's a blue. Nice. Sidestep. Oh, man, this guy doesn't do damage anymore. Hey. <laughs> we're coming back so like we're coming back like a raid boss <laughs> this guy has like 11 kills and like he's actually unable to kill us <laughs> all right let's go back once again but before we do let me just get like one up or like a little bit more we can afford my Sterex Cage. I'm, I'm kind of personally thinking, should I even do it? Because I'm also thinking about Thormil a little bit. But I think I probably will. Yeah, I'm going to go for Sterex Cage just, just purely for damage right now. Let's do it. <clears throat> I don't care about Thormil at all at the moment. I only care about damage right now. So Darius is top sign. Nope. Nice try. I'm gonna go mid. Your turret has been destroyed. Oh man, we I feel the I can I feel like we can carry this one pretty hard, even though my entire team is actually having a bad time. I feel like we can make it something.
Okay, she will die. Oh man, we actually got so many kills here too. It's looking really good. <laughs> We're making the comeback happen in this game, actually. <laughs> Trundle is on the way, man. No problem. <laughs> this champion is absolutely busted, like, with this build, man. Like, prove me wrong here. <laughs> prove me wrong, guys. They surrendered the game. We actually literally won like 1v9 with this build in Trundle. <laughs> Trundle is busted, man. If you make it like this far in the game with this build, you're like unbeatable. You do so much damage, man. <laughs> Either way, this is Trundle Top. Thank you for watching today's YouTube event, and I'll see you next time. Peace.